So how do the Equipping Mind games help a student who's been struggling? Well, I have one of my students here with me today and her mom, and they're going to share with us for a few minutes, but we're also going to let you see one of our favorite exercises. Okay, so Sarah and Ariel, thank you for joining us today. And just talk to us about your journey with Equipping Minds. Um, recently, it's been helping me with math a lot. And now I can do math by myself. I used to like have meltdowns and have to breaks and stuff like that. But now I can do it all by myself. What, what did you start doing all by yourself? I started doing division, which was my main like enemy. It was <laughs> super hard for me to get it. But finally I got the order and so I was and, excited. And then multiplication with big, big numbers. Yeah, multiplication. So like math was the main thing. Yeah, so it's, it's gotten a lot better in the last year that we've been using Equipping Minds. And so one thing that you mentioned that we hear about a lot, because there are some excellent math curriculums out there, but a lot of times it is holding on to the order, like you said, Ariel. But when we did Equipping Minds, we never did math, because more math just kind of showed the frustration and the meltdowns, like you said. Yeah, she was always forgetting the steps and forgetting the steps and forgetting the steps, even if they were written down, just that she couldn't hold on to all the steps in a row. And this has really helped with that. So we're going to look at one of the exercises that really differentiates Equipping Minds from so many programs. And that's because in Equipping Minds, the exercises all overlap. They're not in isolation. And so Ariel is going to show you what's called the brown seven and back today. And we're going to look at colored arrows. And each of the colors has a number, a color, an animal, a letter, a president, a symbol, and then we have a direction. And when we started this, we just started with one thing at a time. And then we built up and gradually added. And so Ariel is going to demonstrate saying the number, the color, the animal, the letter, the president, the symbol, and the direction. Go ahead, Ariel. So nine, blue, turtle. C, George Washington, parentheses, and then up. Nicely done. And she would go ahead and continue to do that whole page. And then if we took out the sheet, and let's do that just a minute for me, Mom. And if we had a white background under there, and this is taking it to another high level. So Ariel, can you read these back for me, telling me what they wore. Nine, blue, turtle, C, George Washington, parentheses, and then up. Yes. And now you just remembered that, but you could also have told me the color that was also there for each of those as well. Um, so that's an example of how we were building Ariel's working memory, but she was able to visualize numbers and colors and letters 
and images of presidents from the Yo Millard Fillmore book and symbols and then put directionality in there. Um, and we also add in vowels as well. So just very complex and she has just been doing that beautifully and it generalizes to the academics. Um, and I want us, let's bring the camera up. There are a couple other areas I know y'all have shared that doing Equipping Minds has also helped in, in everyday life as well. Because it's not just getting better at the games or there'd be really no point in doing it. But that generalization, um, because you're also an athlete, Ariel. And how has this impacted? Can you talk about that just a minute? Um, one thing that it has helped me with is staying calm also and helping, helping me not to get frustrated. Like I do ice skating. Mm -hmm. So when I don't get a move right, it's kind of frustrating. So I practice a lot and it has definitely helped me stay calm and not get so frustrated when I don't, you know, mess up because mm -hmm. you can remember the steps and remember how to do it yeah okay anything else mom that you would add uh we've just been really thankful for the program because um it it gives us a lot of hope that we can have a better future and and get past this um and and be able to learn all the steps to everything and keep it in her memory and it's affected chores she can remember her steps to her chores the multiple chores we have and she can she's beginning to to grow as a as 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 a little girl and as and beginning to be able to do all the things that that she should be able to do so we're we're very glad for it so well, thank you guys for taking a minute and sharing with us today.